guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I have an ASMR <laughs> favorites video for y'all. It's been a while since we've last done a favorites video, so let's get started with skincare. This is the first one, it's the Bioderma Sensi Bio H2O Micellar Water. So this is a huge bottle and I finished two big bottles of this already. This is the Chinese New Year uh, design as you can see it says Sing Me Kuai Lo. The water is actually really really liquid and I really like it because it's very gentle on the skin and it, yet it's very powerful at removing makeup, even waterproof ones. I highly recommend it to those of you with sensitive skin. When I wake up in the morning and I don't want to use facial foam to wash my face, all I do is put it on some cotton pads, swipe it around my face, like, and it actually gets rid of a lot of dirt. Now, this is the... I'm from Nakwa Essence, and it comes in a glass bottle. So sturdy. Um, anyway, Mugwort Essence is really good at just calming the skin down and this one has a very viscous texture. Let me show you. And it smells very herbly, like... So nice. Yeah, so I highly recommend this for people who are experiencing sensitivities or if you have redness. Um, I like to use this when my skin is feeling really really dry and it helps to like aid my skin drink up all the water. Then we also have this which is my latest obsession. This is the Longcore Clarific Double Essence because it is amazing at just clearing up the skin. It's a very good multitasking product that helps to clarify, brighten, reduce the visibility of your pores and it also contains a blend of oils that help to hydrate your skin at the same time. So if you look closely, there's also a very nice patented whisk inside. It comes with a two-part, so there's a little bit of like oil and a little bit of an essence. But once you shake it up, it just becomes like a milky texture. So if you look closely, you can actually see the little oil droplets. But when you apply it on your skin, it is not oily. So I've been using this for about two months and as you can see, I still have a lot of it left. So it's very value for money. I do highly recommend this for people with dull skin looking to brighten your skin or if you want a very uh, simplified skincare routine, don't want too much products, then this is good for you. Oh my gosh, this one. I need to show this one to y'all. This is the Vichy Mineral 89 Probiotics Fraction. It comes in a cute glass bottle like this with a dropper. Can you hear it? But um, I really like this one because it helps to heal my skin and I think probiotics is something that is a super hot ingredient now everyone's talking about prebiotics, probiotics and what it does for your skin. Basically it helps to feed your skin cells so apart from just hydration your skin cells also need its nutrients and food and nourishment in order to grow healthy and strong uh, which in turn lead to a stronger more resilient skin barrier and this one from Vichy is actually really nice. The texture is quite milky, I would say. So it's like a gel-like texture. It's quite viscous. Uh, so it also adds hydration to your skin. It actually doesn't smell that great. Huh? If you smell it, you will know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> the properties of it, the effectiveness of it is really good. Like after using it, I do really feel that my skin has gotten a lot stronger than it used to be and uh, it's now a lot less inflamed, a lot less red and angry. I have a cleanser for you guys and this one is from the drugstore. Uh, it's from Neutrogena. <laughs> you guys know I love Neutrogena. Anyway, um, this is the Deep Clean Gentle Foaming Cleanser because it contains 8% amino micellar. Um, I can 
vouch for how gentle this is like i've got sensitive skin and on days where my skin is super sensitive i'm still able to use this it doesn't really really lather up into a thick foam unlike the uh, usual dcfc's uh, but this one actually removes the impurities from your skin all the remnants of the makeup but it still makes your skin really soft and keep it really clean yeah without the squeaky feeling and i do really highly recommend it to every one of you regardless of your skin type if you are going through acne or if you um, have very dry skin actually normal skin oily skin combination skin i think this is a really good drugstore option to look out for i've got a moisturizer so this one is from Caudalie. this is the vino sauce hydra great water gel moisturizer and i just want to show you all the packaging It's like a nice gel. <laughs> I don't know if I'm doing this correctly. <laughs> Whatever. Um, just don't take it too seriously, guys, okay? This is a really nice moisturizer. I've been using this in the day especially because it's so lightweight and it just melts into your skin. Um, it smells like a very typical caudally moisturizer because it uses their signature white grapes. So white grapes are actually high in vitamin E and this one also helps to hydrate, brighten and I think it's great for people with combination oily skin. And the packaging, it looks frosted but it's weighty and it's glass. Texture wise, it's actually really cooling on the skin. You can see how fast it is absorbed. No stickiness, no residue. Um, you just feel a lot more refreshed in the morning and I love it that it doesn't interfere with makeup. An eye cream this month. This one is the Ole Hermitson Banana Bright Eye Cream, Vitamin C and Collagen Boosted. I know Ole Henriksen is really famous for this eye cream. It's like one of their best selling products. And it took me a while to actually like it because I didn't want to shout out something, especially when it comes to eye cream that isn't cheap at all if I don't see visible results. So I've got two eye creams in this favorites and I'm going to show you guys the difference. So this one, I really like it because I really saw brightening effects. I wouldn't say that the texture is the best uh, for me because I do like my eye creams a little bit more moisturizing because I've got dry skin. But... Ta-da! You can see it comes quite goopy like... Can you see the string? Yeah, so... Um, I just use a tiny little bit on my ring fingers and just dab it around my eyes and I do notice that my eyes have gotten a bit brighter uh, especially my under eyes, my dark eye circles and some discoloration on my eyelids as well. I did see results come in only after about a consistent one month of using which I would say is an okay type. If you're looking for a brightening eye cream, check this one out. Now, if you are looking for a moisturizing eye cream, there we have Fankel BC Intense Eye Essence. So this one comes in a nice pump, which I think is so much more hygienic compared to a pot version. <laughs> so let me show you. This one has a much more like thicker texture, so it even holds its shape after being squeezed out. Uh, but when you spread it apart, it just melts into your eye area, it moisturizes it very deeply, and it allows me to give myself a nice eye massage uh, whenever I need it, because it, it reduces the friction of the massage. And once you use it, you'll know. It's a very nice, luxurious texture. Uh, I do recommend this for people who have a little bit more mature skins or are looking for um, more elegant textures and more hydration rather than discoloration. Sensitive skin friendly as well. Body time! This is from Glorasme. <laughs> so 
So this is a plastic bottle. As you can see, it's the Watermelon Glow Pink Dream Body Cream Soothing Moisturizing. As you can see, I'm almost gone with it. Um, down to the last few pumps, but I love the scent of it. And it has a nice thick consistency, so it's very hydrating and moisturizing on dry skin. But after massaging it into the skin, it actually gets absorbed. Time for makeup. So of course, I raved a lot about Rare Beauty the past few months and I really love the products. Unfortunately, I haven't gotten my shade for Rare Beauty's foundation yet, but I'm still using this and I'm still making it work. First thing, it's super long wearing. It lasts so long even underneath the mask and it just blurs out your pores, does a transfer. And I love the packaging, everything from the doe foot applicator to the packaging to how it feels and how you use it on the skin. I think everything is very well thought of. And for the Rare Beauty Foundation in particular, it has a serum-like texture, so it's not heavy at all. And if you hear, there's actually a mixing ball inside that allows you to mix everything because it might separate considering it has skincare properties inside as well and you can see this doe food applicator nice and really cute and large so you can cover a lot of areas just dot it around your face uh, it gives you a very even complexion once you use it from Rare Beauty, my favourites are also the lip balm. This is the Nearly Rose Balm. I really love both Nearly Rose and Nearly Mauve because of the texture of it. If you see, it just melts. So it's not going to give you high shine, but it helps to really reduce the lip lines, remove the flakes, and this color, especially this as well as the mauve one, I really cannot choose. Last but not least, I have to talk about her cheek blush. This one is nearly apricot. I'm not a big fan of cheek blushes, but this shade, this shade is beautiful. Like, beautiful. Yeah. You heard me. Anyway. It's super cute as well. You just open it up and you have a nice mirror as well as your cream blush in here. Um, I like to use my fingers or sometimes I use a brush with it. The colour is just so beautiful. It really just looks like apricot colour. There you see. I wouldn't say it's the most long lasting or long wearing considering it's a cream product but I just love the colour. Next up, I am going to talk about my bag. Dun -dun. Ta so I've been loving this bag a lot. This is the Strathberry Lano Nano Bucket Bag. It's full leather, so it's very beautiful. It's got gold hardware as well and I love it because it's very unique. So you have like two nice big hoops at the side. It comes with a little pouch that you can hang it out or put it inside or just even detach it. And you can choose to carry it short, like two rounds as a nice handbag or sling it to the side. And I think it's a very nice size as well. And I chose it in leather 10 because brown goes well with every single outfit. And I've been loving it. It's also actually really spacious and roomy. So. Alrighty, thank you so much for watching.